turns out Diamond's a statue supplier for Cobra. Here's a look at the Diamond Select G.I. Joe Destro PVC Diorama Gallery statue. A brilliant businessman, weapons developer, CEO, and engineer, Destro strictly adheres to a quiet personnel code that places war, profit, and the success of his own family above all other things. He excels at brokering deals, clandestine negotiations, and double-cross missions. The refined and highly advanced weaponry produced by his company, Mars Industries, continues to reshape modern warfare. This gallery diorama of Destro is made of high-quality PVC and features detailed sculpting and paint applications. To start things off, first for Noble Destro, I'm going to grab my ruler here just to see how tall Dome Head stands. Realizing now the error of my ways, I shouldn't have called him Dome Ted. Ah, I'm going to be in so much trouble. While I'm worrying about that, I'd also like to thank the folks over at Diamond Select that did provide, in fact, the sample here of Destro that we could have a look at in this review. Anyways, back to the measuring of the statue. Destro stands at around 9 inches in height, or about 23 centimeters tall. Technically, the statue does require a little bit of assembly, because along with the weapons dealer for Cobra, you get yourself a fired rocket that can attach to the end of his gauntlet. You don't have to necessarily put it on there. As you'll see in a second, the statue looks really finished without it. But to get a closer look at it, as you can see, it's one fired off rocket with the end trail of flames behind it. It's more of a darker orange as it's left behind the rocket, and it gets progressively lighter as it leaves from it. I like the little smoke that's on the end of it. Uh, really nice sculpting, and on the bottom of it, this is the part that's going to attach onto Destro's gauntlet, or onto his glove. The thing about it, though, is, again, if I just decide to leave this off and picking the statue up, you can see already there's a couple of non-fired rockets there on the side of his glove, but just above this, this is the part where the rocket, the fired rocket, is going to attach in place. If you don't mind that it's got this bit of an eyesore peg that sticks up from the top of his arm, if you can just write it off that it's part of the mechanism... And yeah, easily. You can leave it off if you want to. But I think it does add a lot more pizzazz. When we ever use pizzazz here on this channel to describe anything. But I think it does add a little bit more wow to add this onto the top of it. It's not attached by magnets. Instead, it seems more frictioned. You just take this and fit it over top. And while the other missiles are still left behind, it does add the real interesting appeal of having him firing off the rocket like this and being using the translucent yellow plastic like this it really does again evoke the idea that there's flames leaving behind it i really like the way that that looks i'm guessing he's probably fighting against whoever's pursuing him as it looks like destro destro is running through sort of a watery terrain i love the way the weight of this feet have left these splashes behind and one part that I really like is this one lifted foot that as it's left the water, some drips and running water has still come off the end of his shoe or his boots. I think that's really neat the way that they've done that. Judging by the way that there's ripples, you can imagine Destro is probably frantically running through it. Judging by also these little points and points in plastic, I would imagine that's probably bullets that are shooting at him while he's escaping with this briefcase right here. The briefcase, as you can see, is something that you would expect Destro to have with the Cobra logo sort of embossed onto the top and replicated the same on the bottom. One thing I wish that could have also been on the briefcase too is maybe put Mars across the top, the company, of course, that he runs, and maybe on the bottom or vice versa, have the Cobra logo on the other side. Still like the idea that he's actually running and being chased by somebody. He could have even e easily also double-crossed the Cobra Commander. And maybe now he's running away for his life. Again, I really like the use of the translucent blue plastic just to kind of tip this up so you can see what's working behind the scenes here. Pretty hollow underneath, but it's just here just to show you guys the sculpting work that they actually put into it. One thing that's also a nice touch, something just to spin this around that Destro had some involvement in, is the production, the production, the creation of the Cobra Bats, the Battle Android Troopers. And I like that there's a battle look to the, the what's left at least of the bat. I'm guessing maybe he probably had an army of bats and now he's the last to kind of flee the battle scene. And again, I like that little trinket, that little Easter egg that Diamond Select actually put there in the first place by sculpting and including a removed head, what's left at least of a cobra bat that was part of Destro's army. Trying not to poke myself in the eye with the fired missile from Destro's glove, let's get a closer look at Destro's face here. 
It certainly does look like Destro from the original classic 80s cartoon, right down to the fact that they've actually painted his eyeballs black. And his little tiny pupils, not sure if you guys can actually see that, is in a darker red. It's those touches of detail that I really do appreciate. He does have all the other things that could check off to make a Destro complete, like the higher collar there in the back to replicate the crest of the Cobra, as well as a little bit of bling that comes down from Destro's neck and the little riveted points at the bottom of his steel head. Really like the look of the head sculpt here. I wonder if down the road they could also release this guy with sort of a chrome finish, something maybe as a convention exclusive. They have also released a Pimp Destro, sort of that working title that collectors have given it, where that fur look to Destro, which is pretty much using the same utilized body here with just a different de paint deco. We're going to be looking at that figure FYI, that statue, in an upcoming review. The detail work that they've also sculpted onto his body, the little zipper up the center here, as well as the belt buckle down below, and off to the side, Destro's got several different pockets, I'm sure, to store ammo that he necessarily needs to go along with the pistol he's got holstered onto the side of his leg. I like that they always seem to handle fabric, even though it's not real, of course, fabric that they're using for these statues, but replicating it in such a way that at least you could believe that Destro is wearing pretty tight outfits. Again, the way that the fabric is stretched across his body, all these little natural wrinkles that would develop as fabric is stretched across a muscular body like this. Destro, I think, is what quite large and in charge. He is a nicely sculpted looking statue. Again, we can spin this around so you can see it around here. I didn't talk too much about the back of the display base, but you can see there's the water running out from the drainage system. A really ni nice use of a darker gunmetal gray. It's not quite the same coloring of the black that they've used for his body. I really wouldn't want them to use the same the black, the same black that they would have used for his body. So I think it's nice that they kept to the similar dark color, but not quite the same color. They've also added what looks to be almost like a moss or something that started to grow to the top of the wall. The wall is also, by the way, as well, finished all the way around. So this really is a statue that if you put in the center of your room and allowed people to walk around, it would be fully finished from the front to the back and all the way, all the sides around as well. As I spin this around so you guys can see everything going on. Again, one of my favorite things about this, not only is just the sculpt, but as well the pose that they put him in. It gives him that real frantic look that he's escaping and fleeing from a battle. I love the way that they've got the legs lifted like this. And maybe something I didn't talk too much about, the way they've got the one leg lifted like this, so you can see like the water is leaving his foot, they've actually attached it to the side of the bat helmet. A great use of including that as also an Easter egg as well. It is, like I said, a really nice looking statue. Diamond Select, mentioned already, also released this as the Pimp Destro, which is, was an exclusive. We are going to be looking at it, thanks to the folks over at Diamond Select for also providing that one, in an upcoming review. And we will be doing a comparison of Pimp Destro, along with the regular release Destro that we had a look at in this video. Growing up in the 80s, there were tons of cartoons to choose from, and while I could easily put together a top 10 list right at the very top of that list, would easily be, without even thinking about it, G.I. Joe Real American Hero. That was the one cartoon above all else that I would never miss a chance to watch, especially when it came to the five-part miniseries series like Mass Device, Weather Dominator, Pyramid of Darkness, Arise, Supreme Arise, and... Operation Dragonfire. We never talk about Operation Dragonfire. The only thing good about Operation Dragonfire, not produced by the same company, wasn't Sunbow, but was the fact that they actually brought back the Cobra Commander and they gave him the armor outfit. But we never talk about Operation Dragonfire. But all the other miniseries, without a beat, missed. Would always be checking that out. I like at least with this release from Diamond Select that they went with a classic look for Destro. I don't think Destro has changed too much in his look, but this one definitely does evoke the look of the real American Hero series cartoon. He has briefcase in his hand. It looks like he's been pursued by somebody, judging by the fact he's fleeing through, I'm guessing, some sort of sewer water system. And as you can see as well, by the way that the bullets have rico ricocheted off the water, without even having the bullets actually being used in this statue, seeing things like this, you can sort of start putting together a story. Why is Destro fleeing? Why does he have the briefcase in his hand? Uh, the briefcase, I do wish that they could have put Mars on one of the sides, but at least to their credit, they not only embossed the Cobra logo on the top, but also the lesser seen area at the bottom of the briefcase, a part you'd probably never even see in the first place. Of course, they're using some nice translucent blue to give you the idea that he's running through water. And a nice little Easter egg once again mentioned is that they included the head of a Cobra bat, a battle android trooper. Nice work from the folks over at Diamond Select. And again, as mentioned, there is also a, an exclusive release of Destro that we will be looking at in an upcoming review. A big thank you once again to the folks over at Diamond Select that did provide the sample of Destro, the gallery statue that we could have a look at in this video. 
For your video question for today, what's your favorite 80s cartoon? Was it G.I. Joe the Real American Hero? Was it Transformers? Or was it maybe a lesser known like Sky Commanders? Does anybody remember Sky Commanders? Probably nobody. But let me know down below in the comment section what your favorite 80s cartoon was as a kid or even something that you go back and watch nowadays as an adult. Let me know down below in the comment section. And hey, now, if you are new to this channel, you're enjoying the content that you're seeing, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well. You can also turn on the bell notification and get those friendly reminders from YouTube whenever new videos from this channel gets posted and you, the person that's sitting in front of your monitor, your phone, your laptop, or where any other place that you get a chance to watch these videos, you get those friendly reminders. Make sure you turn on that bell notification. Keep your peepers peeled as well while we have wrapped up things for the weapons dealer for Dest well, Destro, the weapons dealer for Cobra. We will be looking at other gallery statues produced by Diamond Select, so make sure you keep your peepers peeled to this channel. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.